I'm Jeremy. My name? My name is Christy. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Uh, Aaron. Bernie. My name is Jolyon, J-O-L-Y-O-N. Okay. Uh, so, what did you feel like about the, at the beginning of the panic? What did you think of it? Like, at the beginning of the yeah. pandemic? Um, I felt overwhelmed, like, the news. I, I was questioning, like, I thought it was like, a conspiracy. I was, like, guessing the motivation, like, oh, who's making money from this? And then, um, yeah, I guess I felt a little bit scared about how serious it was and the ambiguity of, like, no one knew what it was and then how quickly things escalated and how schools were shutting down and everything shut down really quickly. So I was, I guess, fear, yeah. I was scared and confused a lot, but it ended up being kind of a good time for me, actually. It was pretty bad for me. I had to go home for a long time. I think there's been a lot of positive things. I think the vaccine had worked very well. Mm -hmm. I think we're definitely ready for the next step without a mask. I'm very happy with that and very pleased with it. Appreciate what I have. To be grateful for what I have, the things I go to, what's happening. And uh, to be very grateful for everything I have. I think gratitude is one of the main keys in all this. Uh, learn that we all have to take care of each other, I think, even more so than I knew before. To be more careful mm -hmm. and uh, to understand the importance of health and things. I think health is a very important thing to value. So how would you say that uh, COVID like, affected your mental health and just how you went about things every day? Sure. Uh, well, I certainly spent a lot less time interacting with people face to face. Uh, one of the joys of being uh, uh, involved in grad school is that you often are a, a teaching assistant. So you spend a lot of time interacting with students. Uh, that all moved from, um, you know, face to face interaction to behind a computer. And it's very different. It's more difficult to educate that way. There's a lot of people in the way that um, everyone loves to travel and get out there and uh, we all kind of had to go home and kind of shelter in, and yep. it took a lot of out a lot out of a lot of people, I think. So, would you say that your mental health declined a lot during uh, I, 100%, COVID? Yeah, I mean, I had to do a lot of find a lot of different alternatives in terms of like jogging and going to the gym more. And when the gym shut down, you really had to like do some workouts in your own apartment just to kind of keep your mental health strong, you know. Okay, cool. Well, um, do you do you feel like you came out? of the pandemic with a lot of like more knowledge about yourself or anything like that? I mean, for sure. I mean, I think we, I think we all go to bed uh, with ourselves at night and we have, really have to wake up and yeah. fight another day and just continue on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, appreciate Steve. It, yeah. Have a great one. All right, I appreciate it. I right, appreciate it too. Thank you. Yep.